guys, welcome back to my channel. So, my plan for today is to do 25 facts about me. Um, I am very nosy as an individual. That's not one of my facts, but I am very nosy. Um, and I love watching these types of videos. So, I thought I'd do one about me because if there's bound to be, everyone's nosy actually. I was gonna say there's bound to be someone just as nosy as me, but everybody is nosy. Numeral uno. Um, I almost got to the top of Kilimanjaro. I went to Tanzania when I was 18 years old for three to four weeks and I almost got to the top. I was on the final summit, um, final camp, final summit, literally like the last couple of hours and I passed out from altitude sickness. So I was not allowed to carry on, which I was so sad about, which I, I do totally understand. Like, you know, I was so sad about it. Like I know altitude sickness is, horrible i've had it it's horrible but when you fly all that way climb all that way and you're like two hours from the top and you can no longer go because you passed out pretty infuriating so i will go back there one day and climb it i will i feel like i've got unfinished business with that mountain i absolutely love tanzania though. the country the people the culture everything i loved it um it's oh it's just amazing absolutely amazing if you ever get the chance to go go and if it isn't on your travel list or bucket list put it on there because it's just stunning absolutely stunning country fact number two i am a digital project manager as a job it is something i never intended to go into however um, I have accidentally ended up as being a digital project manager for the NHS and I absolutely love it. It's hard work, very stressful at times. However, I feel like I'm actually making a difference. I'm managing a change in process or a change in digital uh, solution for our communities and acute hospital trusts. And I really enjoy it. It's, it's good fun. Like I said, it's hard work, but the work is so varied and so interesting and it's yeah i ended up here totally by accident but i'm really pleased that i did because i really enjoy it actually um so yeah that's 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 me that's what i do for a living fact number three i absolutely loved history in school i am a little bit of a history geek i love it like mm. i don't even know why well, I do you know why? I find it interesting, but like I can tell you like exactly this is what I like. That was my favourite subject in school, my favourite lesson in school, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, fact number four. My favourite drink of all drinks is a cup of tea. You cannot beat a cup of tea. Tea fixes everything. My go-to tea though is PG Tips, which I know is controversial. Some people say it's too weak. Some people just don't like it. I like a weak cup of tea. I'm not a builder's tea kind of girl. I like a weak cup of tea. I like a milky cup of tea, but it still needs to taste of tea. Saying tea a lot, but yes, I love tea. It's my absolute favorite drink, but it has to be PG tips. Not into the Yorkshire tea. Sorry, Yorkshire people. I'm not into Yorkshire tea at all. Um, PG tips is, is the one. Um, fact number five, my guilty pleasure to watch on telly is reality TV. And I always cringe at that because people either love reality TV or they hate reality TV. And I am in the, I absolutely love it category. Like that is what I watch. I love a bit of MTV, I love a bit of Housewives, Real Housewives. Oh, I love the Real Housewives. Um, I love a bit of Love Island. Oh, Love Island. And it's coming back this year. I mean, how amazing is that? That just makes 2021. Screw the fact I'm getting married this year and I'm going on my honeymoon. Love Island's back. It's just amazing. So yes, I love reality TV. I wouldn't want to be on reality TV, but oh, I love it. I just love a good glass of wine and a good episode of reality TV that gets me hooked. So yes, reality TV for the win on that. Um, fact number six, I don't enjoy winter or autumn really, or spring. My favorite season has to be summer. 
I love summer. Just the heat. I love the sun. I love the heat. I'm not someone that likes the cold. Like, I get really unhappy and grumpy in the cold. You don't want to know me when I'm cold. Mm -mm. It's not fun. It's not a good time for anybody involved or around me when I'm cold. Summer is the best season. End of. There's not a single person that's unhappy in summer because sun makes everything better. Therefore, summer's the best. I think that's good logic. It makes sense in my brain. Summer is the best. Fact number seven. I'm a very average height of five, five. I'm gonna say 5.5, five, five, five foot five. Five foot five. I'm a very average height of five foot five. Um, fact number eight, and this always angers people. So I'm gonna pre-warn you. I don't like films. I hate films. I hate going to the cinema. I hate watching films. I don't enjoy films. I just don't like films. Mm -mm. I just, I fall. I have fallen asleep in cinema. I don't know how many times. I just. I get bored. I. I just don't enjoy films. And everyone's like, "Oh, but have you seen this film?" No, because I don't like films. So, I just don't enjoy. I really, it just. I give me a good TV series. I can get my get into, get like good grip on. And I know it's going to go on for a little while. And I can get invested into it. But a film, I just think I'm not going to get invested into a two hour film that's going to be over and I won't last two hours anyway. I'll be like, nah, I'm bored now. I want to do something else. Let's pause it for a bit. So yes, I don't enjoy films, but it always is a controversial one when I say that to people. Fact number nine, I love cooking. Like, love it. I have so many cookbooks that you oh so many so so many i actually used to do a bit of a cull of cookbooks um but i have so many cookbooks and i love cooking i hated it when i was younger and then when i moved out um and you kind of had to fend for yourself i fell in love with it and i just really enjoy it i find it so relaxing and therapeutic and you know listen to the radio or put some music on have a glass of wine while you're cooking or talking to friends while you're cooking I just love cooking um, fact number 10, 10, um, my favourite animal is a giraffe, I love giraffes, and I saw them in the wild when I went to Tanzania, but yes, I absolutely adore giraffes, I just think they're so, like, majestic, and just magical, and just, ah, oh, they're just beautiful creatures that don't get enough love, what can you not like about a giraffe? Nothing. They're amazing. End of. They're my favourite animal and I, just, I, I loved them. Absolutely loved them. And seeing them in the wild was probably the best thing I've ever seen in my life. It was just so amazing to see them just chilling. Chilling in their natural habitat. It was lovely. So yeah, favourite animal is a giraffe. Fact number 11. If I could have any superpower in the world, it would be to fly. Yeah, superpower has got to be to fly. And then you can fly any, like you can go anywhere, like anywhere at all. Just, oh, I'd love to fly. And I could like pick my friends up and be like, yeah, I'm flying you over here. And I don't mean flies in, if I had a superpower, I'd want to fly a plane. I mean flies in, I want to fly. <laughs> That's my wings. <laughs> I want to fly. <laughs> so yes, that is fact number 11. Fact number 12. When I was younger, I wanted to work with animals. I wanted to be a vet or a veterinary nurse, something in that side of things. But um, turns out I'm not very good at science or maths. Um, and you kind of need to be good at that to do that kind of line of work. Also, I, I, as you'll find out later on, there are certain animals I really don't like and I'm petrified of. And I don't actually think I've got it in me to put an animal to sleep. I just don't think I could do it. I'd be an emotional wreck. I, I couldn't do it. It'd be awful. But yes, that's what I wanted to be when I was younger. I wanted to be a vet or a veterinary nurse. Um, so fact number 13, my absolute favourite colour is pink. I love pink. Not bright pink, like a baby pink. Like a nice, pretty, pastel pink. Can't go wrong, can you? I love it. Um, fact number 14, when I go to sleep, I have to have background noise. Have to. Like... I can't sleep without it. And I blame my parents for that. 
because when I was younger, they'd always put like the radio on or a cassette tape on when I went to sleep. Um, but yeah, I have to have something playing, noise, just, just noise in the background, I have to have it. Um, so fact number 15, another controversial one actually. I feel like I've got a lot of controversial facts. Well, I don't think they're controversial. It's just when I say them to people, they're a bit shocked. Everyone is like, mm, but I don't like ice cream. Mm -mm. I really don't like ice cream. I say that actually, I do like a Mr. Whippy. But is that ice cream? I don't think it's ice cream. Ice cream to me is like an ice lolly or like a, a tub of ice cream. Mr. Whippy's not a tub or a lolly. It's like a creamy, creamy goodness. Anyway, I don't like ice cream, apart from Mr. Whippy. Um, fact number 16 is I have a six month old puppy who um, I would show you, but he's asleep outside in the sun. Like me, loves the sun. So yes, I have a six month old puppy. He's a little collie and he is an absolute nightmare, but I love him. Um, fact number 17, I have one sibling. Fact number 18 is I have three tattoos. I have one on my wrist, which you've probably seen. I've got one on my back, which is only a little tiny one, and I've got one on my foot. Um, the foot one really hurt, actually. That wasn't fun to get that one, but um, yeah, three tattoos. Um, fact number 19 is I am absolutely terrified, petrified, massive phobia of snakes. One of the reasons I could probably not, also with the science, you know, not good at that, but I couldn't have been a vet because if someone brought me a snake, I'd be out the other side of the building. I just couldn't do it. And if I know someone's got a snake in a house, like a friend or family member, I won't step foot in there. I won't do it. Because I've got one of these really weird irrational fears that like, there's going to be a snake living in the wall and then I'll be sitting down and then it'll just appear. Number 20, my, so fact number 20, I do have a little bit of a passion for wine. I say a passion, I love a glass of wine. A good glass of wine. I don't, I'm not, I don't pay a lot of money for wine, but then I don't like the cheap stuff. Um, I do love a glass of wine. And my favourite, my favourite wine is a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, to be specific. I love a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. I don't mind them from other places, but my favourite, like if I had to choose, and if I was ordering, it would be one of them. So, but I like all wine. I'm not that fussy actually, as long as if it's red, white, or pink, it tastes a bit like alcohol, and makes me feel good. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I do like a good glass of wine. Fact number 21, I have traveled to eight countries, which I don't actually think is a lot. When I was adding that up, I was like, is that it? Only eight countries? But yeah, I've traveled to eight, oh no, nine. I forgot one. Yes, I forgot one. Nine countries I have traveled to. Should I list them? Maybe, I could list them. Tanzania, Iceland, Czech Republic, Germany, Spain, Belgium, Wales, Portugal, Maybe it is eight. Hmm. Eight. We'll go with eight. Can't remember the other one I've been to. Eight. Let's change that fact. I've been to eight countries, which again, I still don't think is a lot, but I've been through other countries. Like I flew into Kenya um, to get into Tanzania. So I traveled through Kenya and I've traveled through France to get to Belgium, but that doesn't really count, does it? Because I've not explored. So yes, I have been to eight countries. Um, fact number 22, my biggest pet peeve is people who say they're gonna do something and then don't do it. Hun, don't say you're gonna do it. If you know you're not gonna do it, or there's an inkling that you might not do it, don't do it. Why say you're gonna do it? You're gonna make me unhappy? Then I, I'm gonna be unhappy with you. Then everyone's gonna be unhappy, so just don't do it. At all, simple. Um, number 23, my favourite takeaway, go-to takeaway, is a pizza. Mm, I love a pizza. I'm not fast where it comes from either. I mean, there are some pizzas I don't really like, you know, some takeaways I don't like. I do like Domino's, 
but they're expensive. And they got rid of their, like, um, what did they get rid of? Their dough balls. Why would you get rid of them? They were like the best thing about dominoes. No, no, no. Have they still got them? Well, they haven't got them at the minute. I think they've got like a lockdown menu at the minute. They haven't got them. But they got rid of double decadence as well. That was really, I, I didn't get a takeaway from them for a long time because they didn't have double decadence. I was like taking a stand because I love double decadence and it's gone and I don't think it's coming back. Sad times, you know, sad times. First world problems and all that. Um, fact number 24. I'm the worst texter ever. I don't text people back. Or I read it and think, yeah, I must reply to you. Or I think I've replied to you. So it's all good. And then like a week later, I get a text from that person. They're like, are you alive? Yes, I am alive. I just totally forgot. And I'm an awful friend. I'm so sorry. But all my friends now, I'm really, really bad at texting. So I feel like it's okay. It's not okay, is it really? But um, they all know I'm all for texting. If they want me, they call me. Because otherwise, I won't respond. Um, emails I'm really good at actually, really really good with emails. Texting, nah, just nah. Um, and finally, fact number twenty five is I really want to go skydiving. Really really want to go skydiving. I don't know when or where or how, but I really want to go. One day, one day I'll do it. Don't know when though, but I will do it. They are my 25 facts about me. Please let me know if any of them are the same as you. Like if you are any, well, I don't know quite what the words are, but let me know if you have any of these facts that are about you as well. Because then that doesn't make me feel as weird. Like some of the normal ones, like like to cook. I think a lot of people like to cook. Um, but like the strange ones, like you don't like films or ice cream because I get like, you know, controversial those two. Or things like reality TV. And if, if you do like reality TV, like give me some more to watch because I'm addicted. I love it. Um, so yes, please do let me know. And I will see you in my next video. I will be uploading on Wednesdays and Sundays. And it'll be a mix of finance and a mix of general girly stuff that I like to watch. So follow me on my Instagram. I will leave the links to that down below. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah! Much love.